Hey everyone, my name is Austin and I'm a recent graduate of the pharmaceutical science program here at Northeastern University. When I was in high school, I wasn't really sure what science entailed. So when I came to Northeastern, I met with a professor who gave me the opportunity to come and work in his lab here. So ever since I was a freshman, I've been working here learning what science is really all about. So I'm really excited today to be able to show you guys what science could mean for you and what your opportunities here at Northeastern could be. So um, let me show you guys around. Here in the Logothetis Implant Lab, we study the pharmacology and physiology of ion channels and G protein coupled receptors in cardiac cells and neurons. This basically is to better understand the way the heart and the brain function. In this lab, we have a variety of tools available to us to better characterize the function of these cells. For example, in this room, we have the brain slice rig, which allows us to record from rat and mouse brain slices. And we also have a patch clamp rig in the back that allows us to measure the currents coming from individual cells that we plate on glass cover slips. Um, let me show you guys where we get all the material to do this work. So here in this room, we grow E. coli to express a particular strand of DNA that we need for the rest of our experiments. So what we do is the E. coli are mutated so that they don't infect humans. And then we express them with certain antibiotics. And if the E. coli are expressing the DNA we need, they'll survive living in this broth of antibiotic and media. And then we subsequently kill the E. coli and take their DNA. The reason why we need to use E. coli is because they're such a great expression system for these DNA vectors that we need that actually end up being the foundation of the rest of our experiments. So here in this room, we grow the cell lines we need to do the experiments that I've outlined in the other rooms. After we acquire the DNA from the E. coli, we purify it and then we come here and we introduce the DNA into the cells that we are studying. This enables us to express certain amounts of protein that we're studying in other experiments. The reason why we have to come into this room is because these biosafety cabinets allow us to have a sterile environment where these cells can grow and thrive. This here is our microscopy room where we do ratiometric calcium and sodium imaging as well as single particle tracking of membrane proteins in the plasma membrane of cells. This work really allows us to better characterize the function of myriad drugs that you would see in the clinic. Um, so let me show you guys how the turf microscope in this room works. This here is our brand new turf microscope that's very unique to this lab here at Northeastern. Across the country, very few research institutions have access to a microscope like this, so we're very lucky here to be able to use a state-of-the-art technique. The reason why we have four different laser lines is so we can selectively target individual proteins that we express in the cells that we study. Ultimately, we use this technique to perform single particle tracking to better aid in drug development. So I wanted to thank you guys again for coming on this lab tour with me today. My experiences here at Northeastern through the School of Pharmacy have really been invaluable to my development as a scientist. And I know that when you guys come here, you will really see firsthand what Northeastern and the School of Pharmacy can do for you.